Okay. In taking a look at the heart, you're going to need to know all four chambers. Over here, you can see the right atrium, and into the right atrium, the three things that will feed into that are the superior vena cava, the inferior vena cava, and the coronary sinus uh, that is behind the heart that you can't see. So this is the right atrium here. From the right atrium, the blood will move into the right ventricle. That'll go through the tricuspid valve. It'll go to the lungs. It'll come back to the left atrium here, where it'll go through the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle, and then it'll travel out through the aorta to travel to the entire body. So that'll be the blood flow, and you need to know the blood flow as it's going through the cat. Now let's take a look at the veins that we have. The large vein that you have on top, right above the heart, that is the superior vena cava. And remember that the, with the superior vena cava, it being a vein, it is going to be traveling back to the heart, so it's going to feed into the right atrium. <clears throat> the large blood vessel just below the heart, that is going to be the inferior vena cava, which also feeds right into the right atrium. When you follow this, from the superior vena cava, it'll it'll branch off into two branches that are right here. So it looks like it's moving this direction, but it's actually moving back to the heart. These two branches are called brachiocephalics. This would be called the right brachiocephalic vein, and this would be the left brachiocephalic vein. The brachiocephalics go from the point of here to the point where they split again. So right brachiocephalic, left brachiocephalic. This upper one here, this upper blue one here, this will be the left jugular vein and the left subclavian vein. On these, not as identifiable, the right jugular vein and the right subclavian vein. <clears throat> if you find that you see a cat and the cat has pins, guys, and the pins are in the bicep area here, that is going to be a brachial. So all you have to do is take a look at it. You say, that, that must be a brachial. If it says red, it's going to be an artery. So it's going to say left brachial artery. If I have a pin over here and it says blue, that is going to be right brachial vein. Same thing goes with the ones down here. You can kind of see the veins and arteries going right through the inner thigh over here. If this one would say red, it would be right femoral artery. If this one said blue, this would be left femoral vein. And that pretty much takes care of all of the veins. Now what we're gonna do is take a look at the arteries. Harder to find because the arteries are hidden below the veins that you have right here. Very difficult to see the aortic arch, which is right up on the top of the heart. Many times people get this confused with the aortic arch right here. This happens to be the one brachiocephalic artery. So one brachiocephalic artery, there is no left and right. And if you take a look right next to it, there's another one which is skinnier, which is smaller. This is the left subclavian artery. Left subclavian artery is taking blood to the left arm. The brachiocephalic artery will split three ways. It will split into the right subclavian artery, the one that you see right here along the trachea, which is the right carotid artery, and the one which is right here, which is called the left carotid artery. These two will be taking blood to the brain. The subclavians will be taking blood to the arms. <clears throat> the only other one that you would see would be along the back of the cat right here that one is really big that is the descending aorta and that will take care of all the veins and arteries that you have so the things to really key in on are blood flow through the heart and knowing these ones that you have in the chest there's only a few of them and that'll be the test that you guys will be having